Hi, welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Karen, the children's librarian, and I have an exciting new book that we just got in called Dozens of Donuts, which has three highlights. It's about donuts, it's about sleeping, and it's about bears. So it's a win-win-win. You're going to want to check this book out. Look at all the different flavors of donuts. Which one would you think that you would pick? They all look very good. Early one morning, as autumn leaves scatter, Luann's busy stirring a big bowl of batter. She'll eat some sweet treats, then warm and well-fed. She'll sleep away winter, tucked tight in her bed. She's getting ready to hibernate. One dozen donuts, hot from the pan, toasty and tasty in all four. Ding dong! Woodrow! Do you have enough for a neighbor to share? Sure, says Luann, and she pulls up a chair. One dozen donuts, hot from the pan, half are for Woodrow, the rest for Ding Dong Clyde. Luann, feeling generous, offers her plateful. Donuts, my favorite, says Clyde. I'm so grateful. You're welcome. Dig in. I'll make more, says Luann. She measures and mixes as fast as she can because she's a very good baker. One dozen donuts, hot from the pan, a few for her friends, and the rest for Ding Dong Topsy. I smelled something good. Can I hang for a while? Luann says, come in, but she's lost her big smile. Delicious, cries Topsy. She gulps down a swallow. Luann's heart feels warm, but her belly feels hollow. One dozen donuts, hot from the pan, some for each friend, and the rest for ding dong. Does Luann look happy? No, she does not. Moffette? Moffette is so shy that she hides in a shrub. Luann heaves a sigh and says, come join the club. While her guests eat the donuts, Luann starts to worry. She cracks her last egg and pours milk in a hurry. The last dozen donuts, hot from the pan, a pair for each friend, means there's more for ding dong. Chimp and chomp. It sounds like a party they both scamper in. They fill up their cheeks. Now let winter begin. Woodrow pours cider, they all raise a toast, but Luann is fed up with her job as their host. She's ready to sleep through the snow, ice, and sleet, but winter is near and there's nothing to eat. Her kitchen is a mess and her cupboards are bare. Deep in her throat there's a low, hungry grumble. It slowly growls louder, her friends hear the rumble. One look at Luann and they dash for the door. After all, she's a bear and she's ready to roar. Look at that roar. She fusses and flails and then slowly grows still. Snowflakes drift down, all is quiet until... Ding dong. Peeking outside, Luann blinks in surprise. Her friends have come back and they all brought supplies. We counted the donuts you made us so many. And that's when we noticed you didn't get any. We're sorry, Luann. Topsy ties aprons, they prop Luann's feet, chip measures, chomp mixes, Mouffette checks the heat. Dozens of donuts hot from the pan, stacked up in heaps, and they're all for Luann. Luann! But her friends have made more than enough for one bear. She has plenty to eat, and she's happy to share. The end. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.